So we've been talking about Meglin, Maglin, 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 and uh, Aeol, his father, the Dark Elf, um, and Erdhel, uh, the sister of Turgon. And she, after a while, she told all these stories to Maglin about the wonder of Gondolin and the, the Noldar and all this kind of stuff, and he wanted to get out of there. Uh, so eventually, um, he told Aeol, his father, that he wanted to visit his kin and everything, and Aeol got super angry. He said, you will never go and see these people who were the slayers of my, our kin, and all this kind of stuff so either you promise me you'll never go or I'm going to lock you up he basically said uh, and from then on he, he distrusted his son uh, and on Midsummer's Eve uh, the, the dwarves asked Aeol to come and feast with them so he left and Meglin um, went to Aredel and they are Aredel Aredel uh, and they were on a ride out to the edges of the forest, and he said, hey, yo, let's go to Gondolin. I'll be your guard. You be my guide. I, I can't learn anything else here. My father has taught me everything, and the doors won't reveal anything else to me, so let's just get out of here. So they said, all right. And they told the servants of Aeol that they were going to visit the kin of uh, the, or her, the sons of Fenor, and they left. Um, but uh, uh, Aeol came back earlier than expected and they were only two days ahead of him and he left uh, the woods even to go in the sunlight. He hated the sunlight uh, and he started tracking them down. So mm, it's getting juicy. Stephen Colbert, I'd like to talk about Silmarillion, Tolkien and Middle-earth and all that good stuff. So hit me up please. Thank you.